hello girls so as you can see from the title or title um yeah this video is for girls who are experiencing hair loss and um who are balding yes i'm talking about myself and um so i'm gonna kind of record my journey and um some of the stuff that i tried and what works or didn't and um so i actually just went to walmart and got this today rogaine for women foam five percent um i actually went to the doctor before and the doctor recommended me to try this for at least like eight months to see how this goes but honestly dude this thing cost me like 70 bucks and it's two months supply so and the doctor said if this works on me then that means i have to use this for the rest of my life what the but yeah i mean well at least give it a try right so i'm just gonna open this up pretty cute though so it looks like this pretty tiny do i shake it or no uh whatever first thing first um <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys what it looked like so um as you can see right now there's like everything look like, pretty normal right whenever i tell my friends like oh my god i'm balding they don't believe me they're like you look perfectly fine but no okay like i don't know why it's so weird like people usually like shed over here right but for me it's over here that's really weird so yeah it's like really bad like you can literally see the like the scalp <gasps> oh my god did it just get worse oh my god see every time i look at it i'm just like <laughs> like guys see like it's so like little there's like no hair man I can't count my hair, literally. But yeah, like, like, like this. And um, also the other side. Can't really see myself. But yeah, this part, this side is worse, but it's always these two and my my head is like okay like my um the top of my head is okay it's not that bad like it's like kind of normal it's like but just these parts oh it's driving me crazy yeah i'm like not that insecure about it i like literally joke around with my friends about my <laughs> my body head but yeah like i'm kind of lucky that like it's not really that obvious but still like if i tried to tie a ponytail or something it would show i literally make so many jokes with my friends like like guys look at my balding i literally snapchat this like every time like oh my god guys look i'm balding i'm i guess i would just save up for my hair implant actually that is true whenever i look at my head I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get a hair implant. Anyways, so more to the context is that I think I kind of noticed myself losing a lot of hair maybe like three years ago, like four years ago, around that time. But I always had really healthy hair and I had a lot of hair. So I never really worried about it. I just noticed, oh yeah, I'm losing a lot of hair. That's okay. So right now I'm gonna kind of um tell you about some products that i used and um so this one right here for um serum i forgot what is it called it's from it's from the abnormal beauty company and the brand is called dcm
anyways is it focusing like does it work i don't know but yeah this one see as you can tell I, i've been like using a lot and um honestly though i didn't really look in like i don't think i don't think i see anything different so i don't know you guys can give it a try but it didn't really work on me so yeah next by the way by the way like i have to like show you guys i have to recommend you guys to 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 get this it's called rapid lash this is not sponsored but it's, i'm just speaking from my own personal experience i wish there was sponsored but it's called rapid lash i think i spent around like 60 bucks in this on this in this oh my god on this and um it's for your eyelashes I gotta say this, it's um it shows really um great results. The results are really obvious and um, I'm really happy with it. So I've been I've been keep using it. So you guys can try this. I highly recommend this one. And also for um vitamin, I went to the doctor and then they were like they asked me to take b6 i think b6 and d so i've been taking them and then i also tried this one this one's from korea see i almost finished it but again nothing special happened and so this one it's the one that my doctor rank it, uh, recommended me to use use it like twice a week and then after how long and then you can use it once a week but yeah um our anti-dandruff shampoo and honestly i think this one helps me slightly like it's not that big of a difference i still lose a lot of hair as you can tell like i'm still losing a lot of hair and none of them is growing back so but this one, I just feel like it works a little bit. Not much, but I feel like this one works a little, slightly better than the other ones. So you guys can try this one. Alongside with that, I'm trying this one. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce the brand name, so I'm just going to say this one, that one, this one, okay? And um, <clears throat> so I actually, I was watching another like um, video from another blogger. And then she was experiencing like hair loss too. And then she um, used this one and she said like, wow, it like stopped my hair loss completely and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, you know what? I'll give this a try. Yeah. So then I've been using it like not so much. Like I've been using it like I just started this. So um, for now, for now, nothing special happened. But... I'll keep updating you if this somehow gives me a, a, a good result. But um, for now, I'm basically just using these two. So sometimes I will use this and then the next time I'll use this and like alternate. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And um, obviously alongside of that, I'm going to try this one. But um, I gotta say that I really am fucking up my own sleeping schedule. <laughs> like recently, I've been sleeping around like 6 a.m. Yeah, it's really bad. I feel like that, that's probably why. I don't know, but like I've always been sleeping really late. And the earliest, I'm saying, is probably around 2 a.m. If I sleep around 2 a.m., I'm like, wow. Thank goodness, I'm like, wow, I am so productive, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I know, this sounds... But like, recently, yeah, I've been sleeping for 6 uh, since 6 a.m. That's really bad. I feel like alongside with trying Rogaine, I would try to sleep as early as possible. Dude, honestly, I tried to sleep around like 11 p.m., like 12 p.m. once, uh, not 12 p.m. once. Yeah just once but um um 
I'll try to do that. And also, I feel I like research a little bit. Um, I will probably buy a new pillow and I will, um, I have a bed vacuum actually. I'll probably vacuum my bed more often because the mites might, you know, eat my scalp and cause the problem. But yeah, I just keep trying new stuff and I probably change the, um, pillow, uh, pillow sheet more often. So I will do that. I will try to consistently do that alongside with Rogaine and we'll come back with hopefully some good results. See you. Hi. So it's been one and a half month and I finished using this one already. So I bought new ones. So I bought a two pack uh package and that cost me like a hundred bucks a hundred like canadian dollars Ugh. anyways so i'm just gonna show you my process Hi, so it's been about two and a half months since I started using um, Rogaine. Yeah, and um, so what I wanted to share with you guys today is that I um, saw somewhere um, online, people have been saying that um derma roller actually has a pretty big impact on um stimulating like hair regrowth and stuff so i'm like you know what i have to give it a try so i'm going to start today and um, i'll probably do it like once a week and then show you guys the process so i will be um doing i will be using the derma roller from now on and we'll see how it goes. So first, you're going to sanitize the derma roller. So I actually have rubbing alcohol for here. And uh, I'm just going to leave it for a minute. And we're All right, so now we're ready to go. So what we're doing is we're going to... Okay, I'm really, really nervous right now because I don't know if that's going to hurt or something. And I... I'm scared. So, we're on this journey together. Ugh, I'm so scared. Ugh, I can't. I hate needles. Okay, I hate, I actually hate needles. Every time I take shots or like I have to do blood tests, I, I become so annoying. I'd be like, like begging the nurse to switch to those like really tiny butterfly needles i'm like i can't i can't do this i hate needles okay i can do this <clears throat> how okay okay so i'm going this way okay mm, it kind of hurt a little bit but it's not like that bad I feel like you have to kind of go faster. Okay, yeah, it hurts a little bit, but I think it's 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 manageable. Yee. Like it it stings. Okay, it's not that bad. But definitely it's not like no pain at all. It's just just a little bit, tiny bit. So what I'm gonna do is I I did um like this way, like um kind of like vertical. And then horizontal, and I'm gonna do like diagonal. So every time for one spot, I'm gonna do a few times. I can't. Ooh. Oh no. <sighs> That's the worst. Okay. I don't have much hair left. And if my hair caught up in this, rip. 
Okay, anyways, we're gonna switch to another different spot. It kind of feels like someone's like scratching you, but like with like really sharp nails, you know? Scratching your scalp. You know, like when you're really, it kind of feels like when you just cut your nails and then your scalp is like itchy and then you're just starting to scratch it, that kind of feeling. So that's done, and then um, you have to um, clean this every time after you use it. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have if another um, another cup of rubbing alcohol. I'm going to put it in for a minute, swirl a little bit, take it out, and dry it. Or you can also do it along with um, like boiling water like rinse it with boiling water and then dip it into rubbing alcohol both works you just want to like clean this and then after you dry that make sure you put it in your little container so that it is dry and clean and safe okay so what i'm going to do now is after i um done using the roller i will put on Roguing. Yep. All right. I'll see you in a bit. We'll see how that goes. Hello, guys. So, um, I'm back. It's been about eight months after I started using the product. And you can probably tell from my hair color. Yes, I messed it up. And <laughs> I bleached my hair. A few times till I get this color and um, and I had my whole head like blonde kind of and then you can already tell that started to grow out but um, it's really harmful to your hair your scalp when you bleach your hair and so that's why I said yep I know and I messed up <laughs> but um, so here let's look at the result for a little bit um honestly i don't know how this is gonna turn out i would have to probably know when i start actually editing these videos so i can actually kind of tell like oh there's a difference or like oh there's no difference but yeah so um and i will also um right now i will put all i kind of like took a picture every time after i took shower of, of like how much hair i lost from that shower so throughout from since the beginning throughout like till like now ish let's go through that <laughs> mm -hmm. okay okay we're back so now let's look at the result <sighs> honestly okay let's be honest i it's just to use it every single day right so to be frank, I think there are about maximum five days within these like eight months that I probably forgot to do it. Like sometimes like, you know, I mean, it is a commitment. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um, I think within these like eight months, um, I used about four or five of the product in total i can't remember four or five but four or five okay all right okay let's start from the top usually i'm like okay with with my um my, with my the top of my hair it's like i don't have major problem with here so it looks okay but for me personally i i notice is that like from the sides okay so now let's take a look from the side i mean it's not like really i mean you can still see a lot of scalp Right? 
I'll probably put like before or after like right now because I can't really tell because I've been looking at this like almost every day so I can't really tell the difference but yeah and um here so it didn't really like it wasn't really like whoa like a lot of hair going out and like every like i can't see my scalp anymore it's like all hair it honestly wasn't like that so let's see this side let's see the sideways okay it's not too bad Honestly, this side, as I said before, this side is not as bad as the other side, which is weird, okay? But, um, but yeah, so, um, also, one thing in that, that I noticed is that I remember my doctor did tell me, if you want to use this product, you might start to grow some facial hair from time to time, and, yep, that did happen, so I think after maybe, like, um like three or four months i started to notice some of the facial hair that started to grow like around here these areas on both sides it's not like major it's just kind of like mini baby hair growing like in these areas so what i did was just like i like shaved them off so now it didn't like really grow back so if you guys are worried about that I think that's not a big problem. So, um, if you want, if you guys want to use it, then feel free to use this product. And um, so, from my personal experience for these months while using this, there isn't any discomfort or anything. So, in my opinion, if you guys want to try, go for it, right? And um, another thing is, I am still honestly looking for, because I know this product is not for everyone. It might work for someone, it might not for someone else. Everyone's different. I guess, I, I get that. So, um, you guys, I hope that you guys can share your experience in the comment section, because I'm still looking for a um, solution as well. So, share your experience, or like what worked on you what didn't and um thanks for watching and if you guys like this video and think it kind of helped you um be more familiar with the process and how to use this um, product like and yeah that would mean a lot so thank you again